You've been gone longer than you think. Anchor Boda. It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this pass. Well, then, that's two out of three. Atreus. Race me. Come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate um, Last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go. Fine. You coming or what? Go, go, go! Fox? Oh no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're saying. This field always smells so amazing. <laughs> I assume your nose is much better like this. Don't get too distracted. Are you really gonna let me beat you again? <laughs> Magic fox the whole way. Loki, or er, Atreus. Thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you have to go. My prophecy. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think? You care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. <laughs> Laufey? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... you've still got time... to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. 
but... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. What happens to you now? I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Stars here are different. No. You just are. I am going to see you again. <laughs> sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Other home, other home, other home. back to Sindri's and figure out how to save father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angrobota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? What were you thinking? I... I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days? I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you 
seek death. No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? That I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... I think 
Banshee's free enough, lad. Poison! Don't touch it! Locking! Uh, remember? Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Call your mind. Control it. She was our friend. Maybe. For the moment. You're of more use to me. Alive. <clears throat> this is home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Now I must set things right. <clears throat> We'll take him. Oh, your majesty. A pleasure to see you again. <laughs> Bronifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? 
I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it and destroy it. I will help you, but it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is done. No. Go in or what? Ain't going nowhere without this. Sure. Where would you mug spouts even be without me? And what is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly, you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is not strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef wit brother of yours. Freya... <laughs> ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. No! too. I can feel the pool of the binding curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moonful hind shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering <laughs> as anyone. Come on, let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no, something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand, I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falky! <sighs> Come on then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel, and it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. Watch where you're going. I told you. Prune it from a safe distance if you'd rather not get poisoned. Recognize this market. Villagers would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Everyone gone, I wonder. They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. 
Ace here ran cockshot all over this. <laughs> you can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the post was no less a disaster than the marriage. <laughs> Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? <laughs> Market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I am. Hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, dwarf. <clears throat> Listen, I know how bad it is. Sindri and I were on the out so long like not having a brother at all. Yeah, I take some of the ball out on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I guess. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bye. You wish.
What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man yeah. do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. Not now, brother. We've got company. <gasps> One of them hairy-ass bastards! <laughs> hey, bunk hair! Come on! Then you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours, big guy. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Yeah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Here. 
Oh, one eye, send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right. Now, now. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that. Quick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that? Crusty hag. Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. So you can come and go between the realms whenever you please, you're very welcome. Go? This here's my family. I not mean much to you, but it means plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunker head brother. Five million certain beans. I didn't realize the Hulk brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well... Well, you can help me at the board while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course i have gonna! That's Kratos! Though you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Take your crap. Hand it over already. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Need something special? Fits.
when you are. Now don't go get yourself killed, hear me? What'll it be? That'll polish up real nice. You make up your mind. I'll toss it on the pile. That'll mess some folks up. Time I had something to do. No refunds. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That, that is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos and Nope. The Aesir of Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? We're still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos, as long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? Oh, Movements, outposts. We have good intel. Uh, just short on help. I see. Well, let's have a look at the map then. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just putting yourself on a subject you know nothing about. An ancient! Grab what is dropped and throw it! Go! 
Difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> 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 
Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Go! No! Ugh! <laughs> 
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable! They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all! I used to play hide-and-seek with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. No! I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Oh! 
It wasn't enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the ocean. We marched or we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns? The fates of these lands? That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. <clears throat> Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one Gnor concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok has been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, Grove. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're going to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? 
You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no? Let's cross the bridge now. alive be squeamish about war after all the gods you've killed i have seen enough war to know the cost and i don't after the price i paid to end one look around you kratos see what happens when you don't fight a true evil That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Man skotar Asgarda! Vi I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? 